Hi folks, it's Max from Nexus4Root.com. So check out uh, Jelly Bam ROM for this week's ROM of the week. Uh, the version, this is the latest 7.2 version that just came out, uh, I think actually today. Um, this one is actually a mix, it's a hybrid ROM mix of three different ROMs, AOKP, ROM, CM10.1, and Paranoid Android. Um, you'll see that the latest version actually does have the latest AOKP MR1 Build 6, uh, CM10.1, and also Paranoid Paranoid Android uh, 3.15 so you get all of those ROM features in just one ROM uh, it certainly is uh, one of the most fun ROMs I've played with very similar to Pac-Man um, but uh, different and uh, here you'll find uh, BAM control which is pretty much AOKP ROM control I won't go into it uh, but I do have another video tutorial on my site that you can watch for the, all the AOKP ROM control uh, settings you can do uh, with the latest version. Uh, here you'll find the ability to add Pi controls which is part of Paranoid Android uh, and also set you know navigation bar, navigation ring um, all of these are pretty much uh, part of AOKP uh, ROM features and uh, you can read into that but let me go ahead and show you also some more features. Uh, BAM modder here you can install different uh, launchers if you want. Um, you can install Xperia Z launcher, TouchWiz launcher, uh, more mods you can install, Galaxy S4 sound pack. Um, so this you'll have to reboot into Clockwork My Recovery. Anything you uh, try to install will be stored in the Jelly Bam directory. So just go ahead and reboot into uh, Clockwork My Recovery and install it. And also Paranoid Preferences. Uh, this is you know for running your apps in tablet or phone mode um, I went over it with Paranoid Android ROM before so I won't go over it in too much detail let's say that you want to run your Gmail uh, in tablet mode then you can go ahead and go back to settings here Paranoid Android settings I'll go ahead and find Gmail and go ahead and uh, you can change the layout here um, to 600p and you can make the font smaller uh, since you know, running in tablet mode, you're not going to be able to fit all the fonts. Go ahead and save it by hitting the check mark. Hit that button, button, and then you'll be in tablet mode. Um, so it's a great way to run different apps uh, in tablet, you know, phablet, or even just regular phone mode. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to get totally into paranoid Android preferences here. And also, you can run your phone in phablet, tablet UI. Um, different options you can have the notification bar at the bottom all of that good stuff uh, with the latest version of Jelly Bam ROM also comes with BAM cleaner which uh, you can easily erase uh, system applications these are system system applications just remember to make a backup ROM as sometimes if you remove the wrong system app uh, your phone can end up in a uh, soft boot soft prick mode and also BAM persistence this is when you're upgrading uh, from like an older Jelly BAM ROM to the newer one it'll keep uh, a lot of your settings so you don't have to do it again um, there's this thing called Holy BAM uh, kind of check, uh, changes your colors uh, make it into kind of bluish theme there so that's kind of cool and other standard uh, CM 10.1 stuff themes um, so definitely very good ROM for your Nexus 4 if you don't have the time to install three different ROMs, uh, if you want to have a lot of options, definitely check out the Jelly Bam ROM. Uh, it is one of my favorites. I'm actually running this in many other devices also. Um, so highly recommend it. So check it out for this week's ROM of the Week on the Nexus 4. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Nexus 4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, nexus4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.